Myself as a liberal, of course, I'm thinking that the market should be the first option or first driving force for financing infrastructures. And uh, what I fear and I focus is uh, to make sure that us in Brussels are not, we are not uh, uh, worsening things by uh, taking decisions which would affect the market or which uh, would not help the private investment uh, to come um, in an era in which we absolutely need it. When Commissioner Kala started being a Commissioner for Transport here in the European Parliament, he at first had the idea of creating a transport fund because he knew as a finance expert it's a lot, to do, a lot of things to do because transport infrastructure is extremely necessary for the internal market and uh, the money is not there. And Only 36% of the uh, infrastructure in Poland is a good condition. The 35% uh, is in satisfactory uh, condition and uh, nearly 30% is in unsatisfactory uh, condition. Uh, in comparison to the 1990, uh, uh, about 20% of the lines we should withdraw with the operation because of the bad condition of the lines. What are the elements we see in a PPP? Just very general. It's a long-term financing, yes. It's an alternative financing coming from outside. You can set up the project with respect of deadlines, budget and timing, and it can go faster than if you do it on the classical way. You have to put the stress, a best effort on risk evaluation and transfer of risk between parties. That's essential in a PPP because it has a big influence on the cost of the operation. My boring message is stable, predictable, independent, RAB-based regulation and unbundled energy networks will attract greater amounts of institutional equity in uh, European energy and transport networks. And that will not need, without requirement for um, government funding in the majority of cases because they're user paid. Now there are uh, a number of challenges that we have to face uh, in this area and we have to do it in uh, a time where we have a finance, financial crisis, uh, a climate crisis and a jobs crisis which is of course adding to to the difficulties but also adding to the challenges. We need to bring new gas to Europe due to the decline of the domestic production in the North Sea, for example. And in case we have under investment, it would not only impact security of supply, but it may have consequences on the functioning of the market with the increase of price, for example. In addition, we, I would say that we need some consistency in the current European energy policy uh, because we are we have seen some inconsistency which could trans to discourage investors. We welcome the infrastructure package. We like the fact it seems to be targeting these four areas. We urge everybody in this room to do what they can to make, those, uh, to make, to make progress in those areas. So that those three goals of security of supply, of connecting renewables, and of creating competitive markets can become a reality. If there is a lack of private investors in infrastructure, uh, energy and transport infrastructure needs, we have to ask ourselves if it's because we communicate so badly about the needs or it's if it is because there is a real problem. And I believe we, there is a real problem because a real problem is that we, we tend to think about energy production and consumption in a very traditional way. And investors do not believe that it is the future.